الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب تف الله والد أهل السنة speak about sectarianism and differences so much the reason and the answer to this question is Ahab Tifillah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us know that there would diff be different sabil. Qala subhana inna hadha sarati mustaqeemin fa'tabiyu wa la ta'tabiyu subul fatafarraqa an sabili. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily this is my straight path so follow it and do not divide and travel the other diverse paths. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us know that our job is to adhere to his path, which is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Sabeel al-Mu'mineen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعٍ وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on to you all steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to hold to his rope, which is the jama'ah, which is the Qur'an, which is the sunnah, and prohibited us from dividing. So there's a, an emr and there's a nahi in that, that ayah. The emr, meaning the command, is commanding us to do something, meaning that it's an obligation. The prohibition in that same ayah when we're prohibited from something from the Quran and the Sunnah, that means that it's haram. That doesn't mean that, oh, you know, it's advisable not to do it. But no, the asl of that, the origin of the nahi, you feed the tahrim. The origin of the prohibition is that it shows that this is haram. So it's haram to divide. So is it that Salafis and is that Ahl Sunnah, are they the ones committing, who are dividing? Or is it the other ones who want you to compromise the deen, who want you to go under any banner, want you to call to anything, want you to practice your religion in any way, with any creed? Are they the ones dividing? Because that command, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ Allah has commanded us to hold to the حَبْلِ to the rope of Allah. How is it that you hold on to the rope of Allah, but you're ashari and you say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his throne by strength, or took it biquwa, istawla ala al-arsh. How can you say this when Allah said istawa ala al-arsh? How? Is that holding on to the rope of Allah and negating when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yanzilu Rabbuna Tabaraka Ta'ala Kulu Thulatha Layl Al Akhir, that Allah descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. When you deny that, in, which is from an authentic hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are you holding on to the rope of Allah? This is what I'm asking. And when you have groups like Akhwana Muslimin who say that everyone should be under the same ba banner and that we should unite in that which we agree upon and we should forgive one another for the mistakes in minhaj, in aqidah, in all of those things. Is that holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And that we should have a political agenda to vote ourselves into power to implement Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law? Is that from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is that holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Likewise, Jamaat al tabliq and all the other groups and those people who are severe in takfir and severe in their, their concept and their distortions of jihad. Those who believe that the only way to establish anything is through blood. That they only believe they're going to come closer to Allah by blowing themselves up. Blowing their brains so it floats into the air and splatters on cars and, and blows up children and, and, and hospitals. Is this holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is this from the religion of Haq? Is this from the truth? Is this from Allah's deen? Absolutely not. We reject it categorically. We say that this is criminal and this is evil and this is a distortion of Islam and a sickness and a viral infection. 
that infects the youth who join these wicked Hizb shaitan Likewise, Hizb shaitan who they refer to themselves as Hezbollah, those people who make takfir of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum, ajma'een. Are they holding on to the hope of, uh, rope of Allah when they kill Ahlul Sunnah? When they drop, when they assist a demon like Bashar al-Assad and dropping barrel bombs in Ahlul Sunnah and in, in any human being? Is this holding on to the rope of Allah? Or is this holding on to the rope and the path and the chain of the shaitan and the shayateen from amongst men and jinn? That's what they do. That's what they believe. That's not the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why does Ahl Sunnah criticize the people? Because it must be known the status of these groups and sects so that the people are aware so they can see clear water from dirty and filthy water. The Prophet ﷺ said, If tarakat al Yahud ala ith wa sabaeen firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara ala ith natain wa sabaeen firqa, wa said, If tarakat al Hadi umma ala thalatha wa sabaeen firqa, kullaha finna lila wahida kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, kala man kana ala mithi wa ma kana alayhi wa sabi. The Prophet ﷺ said, The Jews were breaking the 71 sects, Christians in the 72 sects, my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one, and they said, Who are they, uh, Messenger of Allah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, those who are upon my sunnah and that of my companions. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there would be ikhtilaf. He said, Man yaish minkum ba'di fa sayyara ikhtilaf in kathira. Whoever lives after me will see many differences. Don't we see many differences? SubhanAllah, we see many differences even between Ahl Sunnah. Wallah Masa'id. We see groups from Ahl Sunnah, people sometimes falling into Hizbiya. Some by weakening the principles of Ahl Sunnah, and some by going beyond the bounds of Ahl Sunnah, by being extreme, calling everyone an, an innovator just because they don't sit with him, just because they don't go to their masjid, just because they're not with their brothers, just because they don't give da'wah with their crew. Just because they don't like one of their mashayikh. Wa'iyadhin billah min hizbiya. And it's better that we die on khair than we live a lie on shar. Calling the people the hizbiya. We can't back away. Ahl Sunnah cannot back away. Ahl Sunnah has a hold of those principles. Regardless if the people speak ill of you. Regardless if the people refute you. But if they refute you with ilm and it's true what they say, then we submit. We have to submit. But if they refute you with battle and desires and just make claims about people, unsubstantiated claims and lies, we can't accept that and we can't be silent anymore because this has gone on too long and has caused division and rancor between Ahl Sunnah. Likewise, those brothers who claim to be from Ahl Sunnah but they compromise every principle they sit with any and everyone in their da'wah platforms. This one is a Salafi Ashri. This one is a Salafi Jihadi. This one is a Salafi Takfiri. Wa'iyadun Billah. Those are lies. So the Prophet ﷺ said, "Man yaish min kumbadi fi zayyara khilaf in kathira." Whoever lives be, lives after me will see many differences. And then he gave us a prescription, the medicine, the healing. Fa alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa rashidin al mahdiin. Abu alayha bi nawajid wa iyyakum wa muhtathar al amur. Fa inna kulla bidatin dalala. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Whoever lives after me will see many differences." So is upon uh, sunnati, then you must follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin bite onto it, cling to it with your molar teeth and beware of newly invented matters for every newly invented matter leads astray and it leads to the fire so ahabati fillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the class with the bat and protect us from going astray and protect us from any and all forms of bid'ah and any bid'ah that we may have fallen into and any and every sin that for sure we have done may Allah forgive us of it and correct us and help us because we need Allah 
We have to be humble. Any of us, we can, we, we make mistakes, especially us. We're just lay persons and people giving a little dawah here and there. Maybe a tawaylab al-ilm, maybe a small, small student of knowledge. We're bound to make mistakes. We're going to make way more mistakes than our ulama and then our, even our du'at and our, our, our students of knowledge. We're going to make way more mistakes than them. So of course we're going to make mistakes. So seek forgiveness often and be humble so you can correct yourself. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.